Well, hello everyone. This is Organic Dairyman and welcome back to my channel today. Today is, what is today? Today is Friday, April 8th. And it is a beautiful, gorgeous day outside. And I hope everything is, the weather is nice where you're at because to be honest, to be honest with you, the last two days, the weather around here, it's been kind of cruddy, just crappy. <laughs> crappy weather i mean it's just like it's been snowing and raining well it was on tuesday the day started out really good and then it started to rain that day and we got about an inch of rain the afternoon going into the evening into the night and then it started snowing it's been snowing on and off the weather's just been kind of cruddy and crappy but yes so um we just had some really crappy weather and uh anyways what else has been going on around here um not a lot, um, it's because it's been wet. We had to leave the cows in the barn. Just not a, a real lot, of, a whole lot of amount of stuff going on. Um, and as some of you are wondering too, we did get the skid loader back about almost about a week and a half ago. That's back home and running it. We're using actually my brother's using it right now. He's cleaning out one of the calf pens or a couple calf pens. And so, but anyways, getting to back with or getting to do what this video is about. Obviously by now you've. Obviously, you've seen the title of this video, so you know what the video is about. And um, that's, I know it's a little bit different from most of my videos that I do that you've seen if you watched, if, if you've been watching my channel normally, I kind of just show what's going on during the day. But there just really hasn't been a lot of extra things going on around here lately, like I say, just because of the weather. So, but anyways, let's get to what this video is about. Yes, um, it's about, obviously, converting this. This generator here over to a uh, propane um, converter. Put a propane, propane conversion kit on here. This is actually a Generac. Where is the it's back here? Yeah, it's a Generac generator. It is a. I think it's got a five horse a five horsepower uh, Briggs and Stratton right there. Briggs and Stratton. Um, motor on small gasoline engine on here anyways what's the story behind this why am I putting a propane conversion kit in here, on here well I'm doing that primarily because um, the last time we used this um, I'm gonna take this thing off because the last time we used this thing here it was 2007 and we used ethanol based gas in here we didn't drain it out when we got done with it anyway so the carburetor on here got all gummed up and it won't atomize the fuel anymore and I was gonna take I, I always I had planned on taking this thing off someday but um, obviously I never got to around to doing it yet and I think it's just easier to convert it over so anyways that's what's in this box right here I just got it a couple days ago and I have not even opened it yet I don't even know if the kit is gonna work to tell you the truth but um, we're going to open it up here and uh, oops, I'm going to have to set you guys down over here. Hope you can see me. I'm to cut away from myself so I don't cut my suit. So Let's make sure you guys can see me here before I, yeah, I guess you can see me good. So anyways, let's see the box. So, that. so we got a regulator, which needs to go in the propane tank. Um, we got some hose. And uh, this is the key component here. This is the uh, gas regulator thing of a jiggy. It's like a it's like a governor regulator. You gotta almost have this on there. You know, you can run the thing off with with propane without this, but it doesn't perform very good. But we'll run. But do you need this thing? So and some other fittings, some Teflon tape, some screws. And I hope I hope the main thing in here that I need is actually in here. Uh, 
Oh, uh, some stuff spilled out of that bay. Huh, maybe I won't even be able to do this there. Wait. Would you believe that? One of the main components that I need in here is not in here. Humpty Dumpty Doo. How about that? Oh, wait a minute. Let me look. Let me put you on pause here for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, they forgot to put the one thing that I needed the most was this thing that was supposed to go on top of here. I mean, I don't know why they gave me Teflon tape. I have Teflon tape here. Uh, let me show you here on my phone Doo -doo -doo -doo, what it is that I uh, what it is that I needed. Uh, I can't find it, but anyways there's supposed to be uh, it's basically what this thing is it's a propane it's an ejector thing you put on there you put it on here and then you hook up the hose to it so i don't know somebody screwed up it's not in here i looked in there and there and all over and it's not in here <laughs> god dang it you know if i had a 3d a 3d printer i could i could make one but uh Anyways, I'm gonna have to think about this for a little bit and get back with you. Okay, everyone. Um, it's been about a week since I last recorded the last part of this or the last segment that you saw in this video. Um, same video for you. A week later for me. And anyways, um, I got that uh, that little uh, that little piece here. It came. I actually, I called the company. The company is called Nash Fuel, and I call them. So they got sent out. I call them on Monday. They got sent out. So, anyways, I got I got so darn excited about that I had got it. I forgot to record um, me actually putting it together. But uh, anyways, I'll show you what I did so that way you guys understand how to do this. Um, if you're obviously this kit here, um, I got this mounted on here. This is pretty much how I mounted it. Just found some piece from an old grain bin project that we had done. Mounted that on here. This is actually technically called the load regulator. That's what this is. And then this is the piece here. I'm going to have to get my flashlight out to uh, show you. But this is the piece right there. You can see where the cord the cord comes or the hose comes down i think i'm gonna get some hose clamps some hose clamps and put on here on this fitting here i didn't have any that fit on there right in hand but this is the what they call the uh that's called the venturi and uh that's where the propane comes in comes in down there i don't know if you can see it see that anyways this is the air breather i had to raise it up a little bit modify it so uh, Anyways, what I did is I had to buy some special um, special bolts here, and I just cut the heads off and used, used them as studs and got them screwed down on there. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the gist of what that, what that looks like. Um, obviously, I had yeah, some leftover parts here. Um, these were the stud bolts that came with it. Obviously, they weren't going to work. Like I say, this this kit, this um, kit was not specifically made for this this Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, I had to modify it, as you can see. So, anyways, it's on there and it works. So we'll put the. I just took this off. Put this back on here. I just took it off so I could show you guys what it. Uh, just to show you guys what it looked like, if I could get it back on there, but, uh, yeah, let's get it. So, uh, we'll start it up here, so you guys can see it run. Oh, 
basically what you got to do this is your primer thing here this is how you prime it and this is your basically what you use to set your how much propane goes into the engine you, you it's going to take a little bit to adjust it um i got it set right where it needs to be but you're gonna have to play with it that's the biggest thing you're gonna have to do is play around with it so you exactly know where you're gonna need it um but yeah so anyways uh let's see i'll set you guys up right here and uh, make sure you can see me so i got the gas on and we're gonna pull this turn thing on and we're gonna prime it for about one second and then we're gonna pull it oops that didn't quite do it i did it wrong shut the gas off so this is the setup this is how it works um like i say this that generator we haven't used it um it's been like the last time was like 2007 so it's been like 13 14 years or so since we last used it the biggest thing like i say we ran ethanol in here um i drained all the gas out of the carburetor or out of the fuel tank here but that ethanol and these old engines do not go together ethanol loves water loves to uh, gather up water and everything so i've never had very good luck with ethanol so i just get regular gas thrown it all the time now but so basically now this pony motor or not pony motor <laughs> i'm thinking of uh, my one tractor but basically now you can run this thing off of obviously like propane you can run it off natural gas methane same thing hydrogen and if the carburetor worked you could run it off of gasoline so now you have more fuel choices to run something like this off of with a setup like this anyways um i've got another little project here i want to quick show you that i'm working on so i'll show you that here in just a second okay um i'm gonna sh this is the uh this is the other project here and we're gonna this is a garden tiller um this thing has not ran since i think sometime in the early 2000s um yeah the same sort of a deal this is actually this is basically the same engine is what's on that generator um i actually i'm gonna do the same thing with this propane conversion kit put in here um the deal is with this thing is i took the carburetor off on here like eh, almost 20 years ago i took the carburetor off because i thought i was going to fix it so I had to put it back on, but somehow some stuff got lost. I don't know. I got the top of the uh, air breather here. But somehow I lost the bottom part, and there's some other stuff. Something else that's supposed to go right here, and I lost that. But uh, I, I got most everything here. I can make it run. I can make it work. Just a little, do a little modifications. I can get it to work. But anyways, and that tire is, is bad, so I got to fix that. But the biggest thing is we want this tiller here because we would like to try to grow a garden this year because as you know food prices are getting higher and we have we've had this tiller um it's, you know, it's probably going to cost a little over 200 bucks to do it but you're not going to find a brand new tiller like this for 200 bucks so, you know we're probably going to pay 800 or a thousand bucks at least for a tiller like this but that's what we want it for we used to use it until we ran ethanol gas in that gas tank and it gummed up the carburetor and well that's why so and wondering about this tractor <laughs> um i haven't done anything to it yet because the money that was supposed to go to fix this thing up um fixing that up now has to go to fixing up that skid loader or paying for the bill we got the skid loader obviously back as i mentioned and um so now we got to, uh, the money that's, that has to go to pay that bill, or the money that was supposed to go for fixing this up now has to go to pay the bill on that skid loader. So um, it's a little bit more, the skid loader bill was a little bit more than we thought it was going to be, but 
But that's like anything else. Money these days is in short supply, so what do you do? But that's kind of how it goes, you know. If money grew on trees and we don't have all kinds of money and the rate of inflation and high fuel prices and that eats up a lot of stuff these days, but but anyway, anyways, if you can save money, like I said, that's why we're, I'm going to put a propane conversion kit in this. I'll show you guys when I get this all done up. I got to order it yet. Um, I just haven't ordered it yet. It will happen. But anyways, I guess that's about all I got. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from what you normally see, but I thought if I could kind of do a, um, I don't know, just kind of a DUI, D, D U O. Or just a handyman video type thing so i hope you guys learned something from this video and um if you ever like i say if you have one of these older small gasoline en engines that the carburetor doesn't work anymore you can get that propane conversion kit you can do it i just showed you how to do it so maybe i'll put a link down in the description or something like that i don't know i'll see i'll i'll, I'll put a a picture or something so you guys can see what the kit looks like the kit that I got for that generator, it was the closest kit that I could find to to work on here or to work on that other thing. And I'm going to get the same kit for this because it's the same engine. But that was the closest kit. You can't find a kit exactly for that thing. It just doesn't work. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's uh, Hopefully we'll be out in the field here soon. If the weather's straight now, it's just kind of a... Kind of a cold day, I don't know what it is, like 34 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So, um, 2 degrees Celsius or something like that. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button. And please don't forget to like, rate, or also subscribe. And share this video with anyone you want to share it with. And, um, yeah, that's all I've got, so... I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.